In this video, we'll share with you how to find quality free stock photos to use on your website, blog, or social media accounts. We'll share with you our pick of the best free stock photo sites for 2017 and 2018, as well as the best paid stock image sites, and briefly explain Creative Commons licensing. Some of the sites we'll share with you include Unsplash, Pexels, Kaboom Picks, and Foodies Feed, just to name a few. We have 28 of the best stock photo sites, so stay tuned to learn more. We've created a post that you can follow along with on the Oakland blog at oaklandohklyn.com forward slash blog. We'll add a direct link in the description below. The full list and all the links will be included on the Oakland article for your reference. So I would encourage you to open the article in a new tab so you can follow along as we go through. All right, let's get to it. Firstly, we'll briefly cover the Creative Commons licenses. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to provide anyone who creates content with an easy, standardized, and accessible way to license and grant permissions to their creative property. Instead of everything being flagged under one all-encompassing copyright law, it allows creators to specify the extent to which their creations can be used and distributed. The main distinction between the types of licenses are if there's restrictions on the use of the image or if the use of the image is unrestricted. Unrestricted use is denoted by the CC0 license. We'll dedicate the first two sections of this video to the stock photo sites with unrestricted use, meaning you can use the images on these sites however you like for personal or commercial use. To make life easier, we've grouped the best stock photo sites into four categories, which are one, free stock photos for commercial use without attribution, denoted by the Creative Commons Zero license or CC0. Two, free niche stock photo websites for the travel, food, startups, nature, and feminine niches, also on a CC0 license. Three, free stock image sites with various Creative Commons licenses, including both restricted and unrestricted licenses. And four, the best paid stock photo sites. Up first is the best free stock images for personal or commercial use, which means you can use these images or remix and edit these images with no attribution required. One of our favorites is Unsplash. From the onset, you can see that Unsplash is filled with beautiful and high quality images. In fact, more than 200,000. It makes it almost hard to believe how generous their licensing terms are. They just ask to credit the site and author out of appreciation and give you the option to make a contribution. Both of which are optional, but where appropriate, I'd encourage you to do both. They have 41,000 plus active photographers and provide daily updates on the best new submissions. In general, the curation and organization of photos is really impressive and their entire library is searchable. Up next is Pexels. Pexels is another site that has stunning images on offer. Although they are not as focused on organizing and curating as Unsplash, what they do focus on is the popularity of photographers and their creations over the last 30 days. They do this through photographer leaderboards where photographers are ranked according to their total number of downloads and categorized based on popular searches. You can also search for images via keywords and tags. We then have Pixabay. You might have heard of this one before. Pixabay is one of the most popular royalty-free image sites online. It has probably one of the most extensive search and filter mechanisms, and you can even filter by the camera it was taken with. Other options include vertical or horizontal orientation, main colors, and dimensions. Next is Snapstock. Snapstock have a great range of high quality free stock images, you're able to search via image tags, as well as filter via trending, views, downloads, and favorites. They also have their own image editing and retouching software called Snapper that you can download and use for free. The next stock photo site is Realistic Shot. Realistic Shot doesn't have as large a collection as some of the other sites on this list, but the quality is every bit as good. You're able to search images or filter via architecture, nature, people, travel, or technology. There is also the ability to sign up to receive seven new images each week, and they also stock vectors and other graphics. We then have Life of Pix. Life of Pix is a great looking site that makes sure to display the best photos on a proper stage. Instead of the tiled layouts of most sites, the main page is more like a feed of fantastic photos. They also have a Photographer of the Week award to make sure people who do excellent work get acknowledged on a regular basis. There is also a partner site, Life of Vids, that distribute free videos. Next is Gratisography. This is one quirky looking site. In keeping with that theme, many of the images seem to fit the same modern, hipster, quirky style. It's a pretty straightforward service. You can download images straight from the front page and either search for images or filter via genres, which include animals, 
nature, objects, people, urban, and whimsical. We then have Jay Mantry, a one-man show. Jay Mantry runs a free image and video repository all by himself. If you want to start producing your content to sell or make available for free, this is the guy you want to follow. He regularly posts on social media to help you get inspired on what to photograph. As you can expect from a solo venture, the site is simplistic and the images are incredible. Following that, we have Public Domain Archive. What makes this site so interesting is that it not only provides new images produced by photographers, but also archive images that have gone into the public domain as a result of their copyright term expiring. This means you can get authentic, really old photos that can give an interesting perspective on the past. We then have Splitshire. Unfortunately for Splitshire, they choose to display their images in very low resolution on their homepage. This will inevitably lead to many people just moving on to the next site. But don't be too hasty. They have some really decent images on offer. They also have free videos and a huge amount of categories that can be used to filter the images. Their top slash best page looks much better. Up next is Freestocks. Not the biggest site or the largest variety, but Freestocks has some really good images for use that cover a great range of niches like fashion, food, and cities. To give you an idea of the size, they only have 56 pages of around 20 images each, but all the images can be searched and viewed by using one of the category filters. We then have Negative Space. Negative Space makes excellent use of categories, tags, and search functionality to make it extremely easy to use, especially considering the sheer amount of images available. You can even search a color, and image results that feature that color as its main color will appear in your search results. Magic. Wrapping up the list of the best free image sites for commercial use is LibreShot. Again, not the best looking site, but it has an impressive offering. You can also check popular images from the last 24 hours, as well as the most popular images of all time. You can also edit the image straight from the site before downloading it, thanks to Picazoo. And you also have the option to download smaller versions of the image if required. Our next subcategory is the list of free niche stock photo websites with a CC0 license, or images available for personal and commercial use with no attribution required. First on the list is Travel Coffee Book. It doesn't get more simple than this. Travel Coffee Book is literally a feed of travel pics from the owners and willing submitters. Everything goes on OneDrive folder, which they freely give you, and you can download the photos at will. Not all the images are of the best quality, but the submissions are surprisingly good. Next is Foodies Feed. Don't look at this site if you're peckish. You're bound to get a serious case of the munchies. This site has some truly beautiful and hunger-inducing images. They really want professionals or aspiring professionals to use the free licensing platform to build a portfolio and reputation. You can sign up for more frequent image updates and it features relevant food categories like top-down and close-up. We then have startup stock photos. This site says exactly what it does. It is a straightforward list of modern, trendy, and inspiring photos that are perfect for a startup blog, website, or for use in marketing collateral. Startup entrepreneurs will especially appreciate the free photos considering that conserving cash is the name of the game. Up next is Free Nature Stock, another free image site run by a single dedicated author, Adrian Pelletier. You can search for images according to hashtags. The feed is filled with multicolored sunsets, starry skies, candid shots of animals, and plenty of greens. The long exposure shots of stars are especially impressive and not something you get for free every day. We then have Style Stock. Style Stock is an elegant site and features feminine stock photography. The images are graceful, delicate, and engaging and consist mostly of pastels, black and white, and soft colors. If you're a fashion, beauty, or lifestyle blogger or operate a business in that space, this site will be your jam. With a handy search tool and the ability to filter via color, category, and date, this is sure to impress. We then have our next group of free stock photo sites. These sites feature images with various types of restricted and unrestricted Creative Commons licenses. When using images from these sites, remember to review the license type for each image. To learn more about the different types of licenses, check out the link to the Creative Commons website in the description below. Up first on the list, we have Flickr. Flickr started out as an image sharing site, but after an explosion in popularity and the quality and quantity of the images growing, it has become the go-to place to find images for reuse. If you contribute to the site, it offers an easy interface for organizing your photos into albums or galleries. You can also join groups that are like circles dedicated to specific niches. We then have Kaboom Pics. This site definitely packs a punch. It makes the bold claim and describes itself as a visual explosion. It is an incredible site and has an excellent feature-rich search engine. It also provides the color palette for every image. 
and is then able to recommend like photos based on complementary color palettes or images from the same photo shoot or photographer. Up next is ISO Republic, or ISO Republic. On top of a huge amount of free images, ISO Republic also offers premium photo packs. These packs are a collection of photographs about a similar topic or subject, and they're usually between 20 to 40 images per pack. They cost around $15, which is reasonable for such a handy package. They also have a nifty textures category, something most other sites overlook. Next is Picjumbo. Picjumbo is also run by a single artist and charitable fellow named Victor Hanasek. Not only does he offer good images at a surprising rate for a lone contributor, but he also wants to tell his story through photos. With a premium account, you get access to never before released photos, as well as an extra 30 new photos per month. We then have New Old Pick. This is a site much like Public Domain Archive, except that it exclusively deals in old images that are free from any copyright, as far as they know. The site itself is a bit old school, and it doesn't come with too many features or integrations. The main sharing option is Tumblr, but it does have some amazingly interesting photos. Premium packs come with pre-cropped and retouched photos and are worth checking out. Up next is Stockpick. Stockpick isn't the most attractive site on this list, but it shouldn't be judged by its cover. It's free and premium images have some great options and the images are usually touched up and stylistic. You could reuse the free images in any way except for redistribution and premium members get new pictures sent to them. There is even a clock counting the time down until the next delivery. Lastly, we'll highlight the top four paid stock photo sites in case you can't find what you're looking for on the free stock photo sites. Our favorite option is Shutterstock. Shutterstock is arguably the biggest photo collection and definitely the most well-known. In total, there are more than 125 million photos, graphics, videos, and music tracks. It is by far the best bang for your buck and strikes a balance between quality images and the right price. Images cost between $5 and $10 on average, depending on your plan. There are even options for enterprise subscriptions and you can pay to have your license reach extended. Next is Deposit Photos. Deposit Photos is a cheaper alternative to some of the other paid sites. However, the curation and organization isn't as stringent, which can make it a little harder to find the perfect photos or graphics you want. It has one of the better ranges of vector images available and should be one of the first sites you go to if that's what you're looking for. Most subscriptions work out to be about a dollar or less per image, so it's easy on your wallet. We then have iStock. iStock even trumps Deposit Photo when it comes to vector images, infographics, and illustrations. It also has a very intuitive collection of categories and it should be very easy for you to find examples of what you want. On average, it will cost you around seven to $20 per image for their recommended plan, which is a little pricey. Our last stock photo site is Stocksy. Right off the bat, a fantastic aspect of Stocksy is that it has a mobile category, which exclusively contains images perfect for mobile display. Although not extensive, their categories do cover the most important areas. The quality of images on here though is impeccable and you will struggle to find a higher overall standard. They don't offer any subscription packages and the average cost per image starts at $15 for small images up to $125 for extra large, making it the most expensive option. Well, that completes our review of the best stock photo sites for 2017 and 2018. If you like this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to blogging, digital marketing, and how to create a successful website. To get access to exclusive discounts, free tutorials, and to stay in the loop on the latest happenings, sign up for our newsletter at oaklyn.com. And until next time, keep creating.